My name is Aaron Soigling, ISU Extension and Outreach Field Agronomist for Southern Iowa. And my name is Mike Witt, I'm a Field Extension Agronomist with Iowa State University out of West Central Iowa. Today we want to talk a little bit about integrated pest management. Uh, as weeds have become more difficult to control in production fields like the one we're standing in today, um, you understand that we need to look at different types of herbicide programs to control specific weeds. Today I have a couple of mare's tail plants with me and we want to really look at the life cycle of mare's tail or horseweed as some people like to call it. It has an extremely large diversification in terms of germination habitat so it will germinate anytime from March all the way through the fall. So it's not untypical to have that plant germinating and growing in fields in southwest Iowa into October and even as late as November, which causes us challenges in terms of controls. So one of the plants that we want to take a look at here today as you can see by the size of this plant it's extremely large and so we want to look at this plant in particular if we notice the bottom portion of the plant uh, appears to have died or senesced uh, the leaf tissue yet as we move up in the canopy of the weed it becomes more green. This plant actually had a herbicide applied to it Yet at the time of application, it was too large to control the plant. Herein lies the challenge that we have later in the growing season is that we did not get commercially acceptable weed control with this plant. So this is one of the weeds, particularly in the southern portion of Iowa, that is a real challenge for us to control. The other plant that's a more of a predominant plant across the state is amaranth species or pigweed, water hemp species, whatever you would like to refer to it as. And so if you pan over and look to my left here, you'll see an actual research plot that Iowa State University has incorporated. So it goes without saying that this is the type of pressure that we look at when we look at some herbicides that we have. So maybe Mike, you would like to talk a little bit about amaranth and water hemp species diversification in Iowa. Thanks Aaron. One of the things we'll look at in a demonstration is how to look at Palmer amaranth, what to look for, and the differences between that and water hemp. Right here in front of us, we have the Palmer amaranth plant. It is also in the pigweed species and it's gonna be a dioecious. So what we're talking about with that is there's male and there's also female plants. The male Palmer amaranth right here, this is where we've got the pollen. As you can see, some of these seed heads, there are bracts on them, but they aren't going to be near as sharp as they are over here on the female. The female is the one that a lot of people see in publications. One of the big differentiators between Palmer amaranth and water hemp would be this seed head and would be the overall size and the length of this seed head. One of the other differentiators would be when it comes to the leaves. With the leaves, they have a very long petiole. If we look here, this section right here, one of the ways you can tell if you pull this off, take this, fold it over here at the base. It is usually just as long, if not a little longer, than the leaf blade. If we transition that to a water hemp plant, which is right here, and look at these leaves, some of the main differences you can tell in there is the leaf shape is going to be longer, whereas these leaves are a little bit shorter. And then, as I was saying with the petiole, if you fold that over, it does not go the length. It only goes about three quarters. That is another way to differentiate the Palmer amaranth. Over here we have a water hemp plant. If we look at these seed heads in comparison, you can see that there is a difference. There's a difference in size, there's a difference in length, there's also a difference in feel. These will be the sharp bracts that are pokey. These here, you'll be able to rake the seed head and you won't feel anything like that. So with that, that would be Palmer Amaranth. This is just one little example. If you have more questions about Palmer Amaranth, feel free to contact your local Iowa State University agronomist or go to other publications and websites that have a lot of information in regards to this plant.